Hello, it is the 3rd of March, 2011. Welcome to today's Silver Log and four different things that I'm going to be going over. One are the historical major down moves on silver, go through some silver analysis, a comparison with the PSLV, and more on the gold LBMA movement. So let's get started on losing one-third of its value. Nine times in the history of the silver market going back to 1968, it has lost uh, one-third of its value. And today, with the market getting up to 35, well, one-third of 36 is 12. So that would bring us to a level of over 23 or so if it does lose a third there's no reason right now to consider this to be the case just thought i'd throw this out there because i get so many people stating don't aren't we going to get a major correction at some point isn't the stock market going to crash and well won't that bring the silver market lower well i think at some point it's safe to say yeah it will lose one third of its value but the question is when will the date of the top be how many how much will it cost for silver or in this case 100 ounces how many days will it take to lose it what will be its maximum de decline and so on because it could top now it could top when silver's at 60 dollars 200 300 very very tough to say just showing it showing the stats now let's move on to the analysis and we'll start off on the 15-minute uh, time frame right now for the day as of uh, a little after 1 p.m. Eastern. Silver is down approximately 1% for the day. And we're uh, really just in this uh, short-term uh, uh, bear market. But overall, it's making this pattern of higher lows or making higher highs. And thus, the last low that uh, was located on this silver market was roughly here at about uh, 33 and change so if it uh, can manage to find a, a significant bottom at some point then it'll continue its trend it's uh, starting to get a little defensive but still overall in an uptrend maybe it might be maybe we might range between 32 and 34 after all markets correcting through time can be very healthy I uh, don't know why I did that. Anyway, uh, I was trying to push Control Z, and I must have accidentally pushed the Save button. Moving on, though. As far as markets correcting through time, that can be a healthy thing. Still very indecisive to where it wants to go, but the uptrend continues. As far as the daily chart is concerned, it's it's been a very nice run from this bottom here at 26.30. And I'm looking at these candles here. It's showing, again, correction through, through time, sort of like we've seen in here, sort of like in here. And even as I was saying, this uh, little bit of a bull flag here, it's after you have big gains, that's very common for markets to have, and that is sideways action because every time they had these sideways moves, it was after a decent gain. This sideways move was after it had the nice gain. This sideways move is only after one gain, but still regardless after a gain. This sideways move is after a three candle move. And the current sideways gain was after a three candle up move also. And uh, that will be it for silver for now. The blog will be updated approximately around 4.30 p.m. Eastern time with... Uh, more stuff that's going on throughout the day. Now a little uh, tr uh, comparison to the SLV and the PSLV. These are ETFs, exchange, exchange traded funds, basically paper silver, don't know too much on the details, have not traded either one in my lifetime, nor do I plan on it. But uh, what I see with the PSLV, this is a Sprott's uh, physical silver, they say. It's, if it's backed by real silver, it's definitely not trading with the silver market. The only comparison that it has is that it goes up and down pretty much at the same time. 
but it is definitely outperforming the SLV market. SLV does a spectacular, magnificent job in mirroring the price of silver. And what mirroring the price of silver means is it goes up and down the same percentile points. The COMEX, the spot price, goes up and down. So if you look from date A to date B, or from point A to point B, whatever percentage increase or decrease the COMEX or spot price has, SLV is roughly exactly in the same area, but not this uh, ETF. I don't know much about it, so I'm just going to leave it at that. I'll check the comments if anyone knows more about it, but I find it quite interesting how it has done much better than the SLV ETF. Moving on now to the uh, gold and uh, the LBMA timeframes. Now you can get this on the LBMA webpage, all of the data. I'll put a link in the more information box to where this data is available. This is from 1968 to 1980, year end 1980. The red line represents uh, gold moving outside of LBMA hours, and the blue line represents gold moving during the LBMA hours. What, what do you? What? Do, I mean, it's obviously uh, a different trend because it started off with uh, the market in here going up during the uh, London time frame as the market before was really showing uh, downwards action outside of it. But right in here, things changed. That's when it started to go down lower, when the market was going to uh, amazing highs. London did not participate in the massive 1970s gains. Now, if we take it from 1981 to current, this is a linear chart. The non-LBMA hours is up plus 3,533% and down 93.4%. This is really staggering. This does not seem right. The data is available. And I don't know what kind of manipulation this might be, but like I said, it's not normal if you're trying to figure something out yourself within the manipulation. Here's some data for you. Work with it and see what we can come up with. But uh, it's just not right. And if we move this from logarithmic to, uh, or sorry, from linear to logarithmic to see price movements better, this is uh, what we come up with. Same thing. Down 94% almost, up 3,533%. It looks almost like an advanced decline ratio chart, almost. Very, very, very odd. And moving into the current time frame, from 2006 to current, well, down 45% in the LBA, LBMA time frame, yet up 345% outside of it. And finally, from 2010 to current, this is... Uh, a year and a quarter almost, down 18.2% here and up 55.3%. And what I've noticed within the silver and gold markets is that it has a major washout every morning, it seems. 10 o'clock, 10.30, 11, that's when I look for the market to bottom. And it's pretty obvious now when I'm looking back and stating, yeah, okay, I've been looking for bottoms every morning. It seems that it sells off most of the time. And yet we can see the pure data stating in a massive bull market from the LBMA timeframes, which is roughly from uh, around, uh, what is it in the morning, 5 o'clock in the morning, I think, from around 5 to 10, 5 to 11 or so, that the market sells off. And that's when LBMA is in control of the market. So I'm going to end it at that. I'm not going to cover this for a while. I'm just going to get this information out there. And uh, thanks for watching. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.